In this video, let us look into some of the applications of Heron's formula. The question here goes like this. Students of a school staged a rally for cleanliness campaign. They walked through the lanes in two groups. One group walked through the lanes AB, BC and CA. This is the figure of the lanes. So one group walks through AB, BC and CA. That is AB, BC and CA while the other through AC, CD and DA. So they then cleaned the area enclosed within their lanes. For example, the group that walked through AB, BC and CA cleaned this area. And then the group that walked through AC, CD and DA cleaned this area. That is within their lanes. Now if AB equals 9 meters, BC equals 40 meters, CD equals 15 meters, DA equals 28 meters and angle B equals 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees here. Which group cleaned more area and by how much? Find the total area cleaned by the student. Now as we can clearly see the given figure is a quadrilateral. So what does it have to do with Heron's formula? Heron's formula deals with triangles and their areas. Finding the areas of triangles without having to find the height of the triangle. So what are we doing here? Okay, what we are doing here is, as you can clearly see, the quadrilateral is split into two triangles. And the details of the sides of the quadrilaterals are given. But then we still cannot find the area of even one triangle using Heron's formula because we need the length of AC. So then, we also have a right angled triangle here. So the best thing about a right angled triangle is you've got the height of that. So the 9 meter is the height of this right angled triangle if you consider 40 meter as the base or if you consider 9 meter as the base then 40 meter is the height. Any way you wish. So now what we first have to do is find the area of the triangle ABC because we've got base and height and all we need to do is use half into base into height formula. So find the area of the triangle ABC. So once we find the area of the triangle ABC, we've got area and then we've got two sides here. So using area and two sides, we can easily find the other side, which is AC. So by this, we can solve the area of the other triangle and then compare the areas of the two triangles and then find out which group cleaned more. So this is how it's done. So now let's solve the problem. So now we've got in triangle ABC, we have angle B equals 90 degrees. So therefore, since it's a right angle using the Pythagoras theorem, we've got AC square, which is the hypotenuse here. AC square equals AB square plus BC square. So now we, we have AB as 9 so it's 9 square plus BC is 40 square. We can either find this length of AC by the way that I told you earlier or we can also use this simple method. So AC square is equal to 9 square plus 40 square. So AC is equal to root of 9 square is 81 and 40 square is 1600. So AC equals root of 1681 which is 41. So AC equals 41 meters. Now let's compute the area of triangle ABC. Now that we've got all the three sides, we can use either Heron's formula or we can use the usual formula that is half into base into height. Half into base into height to calculate the area of the triangle ABC that is half into 40 into 9, considering 40 as the base. This is half. So we have by solving, we have this as 180 meters square. So the area of the triangle ABC is 180 meters square. Now let us compute the area of triangle ACD. So the area of the triangle ACD is nothing but. Now, to use the Heron's formula, we not only need the three sides, but we also need something called as S, which is the semi perimeter. So the semi perimeter is. S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2 or 2S equals A plus B plus C. 
So now that we found out the length of AC is 41, 2S will be equal to 41 plus 15 plus 28, which sums up to 84. So S is equal to 84 divided by 2, which is 42. So now that we have S and all the lengths of the three sides, we can easily use Heron's formula to find the area of the triangle ACD. So now area of triangle ACD is equal to let me write it like this area of triangle AC. This is a symbol equals root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. We've got all the values here. So S equals 42. 42 minus A is 41. 42 minus B is 15. And 42 minus C is 28. So here we have 42 into 1, to 42 minus 15 is 27, into 42 minus 28 is 14. So this is nothing but root of 15,876. And the square root of 15,876 is nothing but 126. So 126 meters square is the area of the second triangle. So the area of the first triangle is 180 meters square and the area of the second triangle is 126 meters square. So from this, we can clearly say that the first group cleaned 180 meters square and the second group cleaned 126 meters square. So which shows that the first group cleaned more area and by how much is also another question that they've asked. So that is nothing but what is the difference between these? So 180 minus 126 gives us 54. So the first group cleaned 54 meters square more area than the second group and the total area cleaned is nothing but 180 plus 126 which is 306 meters square so this completes this problem